Okay, so we got some mosaics that we're going to incorporate into the border. I highly recommend either the night before um, to set some of this because this is so thin. I mean, these days the glass keeps getting thinner and thinner, so it's never going to match up with any tile that you use. So this is really, really thin and it's very delicate. So it's really difficult to embed this in the thin set on the wall uh, without getting it all the way through all the joints. So the solution to that is, is to use some of the membrane, Schluter membrane. And you're basically going to be adhering it onto this so that you can just take the full sheet and you can embed as much thin set behind this and build it out to your layer. So it makes it a lot easier and you're not having to scrape any thin set out of these joints. So uh, basically we were going to go with like a, at the max we were going to go with a four inch border. So we can, I would just go with whatever your widest width you plan to go with and cut them down. So we've got the tub surround back area, which is going to be five foot. And then we got our side of our tub surround, which is basically just three of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to apply a thin set to our membrane here. And this is going to be, I'm just using a 3 16th, the Dietra trial for this. Okay, so now you can see that I have everything evenly done. Now you don't want to have this sticking on your drywall, so make sure you wipe underneath it before you set these in place. But then we'll just set these into the thin set. And you just take your grout float and embed this. And I'll just wipe off some of this excess thin set. So what you'll be doing is cutting this with the utility knife, all that membrane off of there. And then if you wanted to shrink this, you could just simply cut it down whatever width you want. But I'm just making it my maximum width because we weren't sure if we were going to go with a three or four inch border.
Thank <laughs> you.